Hi everyone, my name is Martin. I'm the creator of Shower Rounds. With the iOS and Android beta released, I would love to show you all some feature and explain any question about the app that you guys might have. Let's get to it. So here I have the app right here. Uh, when I first open it, this is the discovery section. What I will see are people in my area if I swipe left and right to it. And these are all real people right now in my area. One of the features in this discovery section is that you can scroll up and down on each profile and look at the photos that they have uploaded as profile photos. You can choose to skip the person if you do not like to add them or you can choose to click the add button if you'd like to add them. You can also choose follow to follow the person. And if you follow the person, you can receive their shout uh, that they send publicly. Next up, let's talk about shouts then. Here is the shout section. Here I can see all the shouts that my friends have made or people I follow have made recently. And if I want to create a shout, I can click on this. I can either send a friend shout, which will only send the shout to friends around me. And this is public shout. This will send to anyone around me that follows me. Let's give it a try. Doing a video about shout around. And then I click send. From here, I can see a list of all the shouts that I have done before. I can also see how many people receive my shout and also where I have shout. And here's a little map that show where did I do the shout. The bottom information here about how many people received it and where you sent it is only available to you and for you to keep track of your own shout. So other people will not see your location or actually how many people received it. As you can tell, if I click on someone else's shout, I will not see that information. Great. Let's go to the check-in sections. So this is the check-in sections. As you can see, there is a camera here for you to scan QR code. We'll get to that in a second. You can click on check-in to check in at the conventions uh, if there's one currently in your area. You can also click on badges to see all the badges that you have collected uh, for conventions or for achievements. Now let's get into the QR code sections. There are two types of QR code that you can release. One is the follow QR. This QR code will allow people to follow you. As soon as they scan it, they will follow you and vice versa. You can also have a add friends QR. And what it does is that if you scan this, if you give someone this QR code and they scan it, they will automatically add you as a friend. Uh, since we're so concerned about privacy, we have made sure that this QR code is randomly generated every single time you create it. And also it will expire after a certain period of time. Let's give it a try to see how scanning QR code works. So here I have is my uh, engineer QR code. Let's give it a scan. There you go. I have scanned his follow QR and here I can see his profile. Excellent. Messages is very simple. Uh, you can message people who you have added within the app. Settings. So I want to go into setting a little bit. Uh, first of all, I would like to explain how to edit a profile by clicking the edit profile. You can click on upload new photos for you to upload any photos that you like from your Facebook. Let's pick this one. Great. You can also change your bio, upload your Instagram photos in edit profile. And you can also view your profile by clicking on your image. Great. So next, I would love to talk about skins. Skins are decorated borders that let you customize your profile. As you can see, I have different uh, skins here. And you can also visit the skin store here to purchase other skins. There are currently some free ones right there that you can choose. 
when you click confirm, you will own that skin. Let's say I would love to give it a try to have the hmm, what should I pick? The feathers. There you go. So this is how people will see your skin and your profile in the discovery section. You can also choose who you want to see in this section. You can choose to see other people who self-identify as attendee, creator, photographer, or exhibitor and esport people. I am a photographer, so I'm going to choose photographer. Currently, Shout Round only allow you to use Facebook to log in because we want to minimize catfishing behavior and also it's the best way to identify of who you are. And you know, we're trying our best to make the app even better as we go along. So thank you so much for testing it out and I hope to you know I hope you make more friends as you go along. Thank you so much.